Senwa finds a unique courage to keep pushing forwards on her quest, no matter what. She sees the world differently to those around her and faces challenges others would avoid. When driven so strongly by one powerful purpose, she will do anything to rid the world of the darkness. This is her life's mission, and she will not stop until she fulfills her quest. My name is Eddie, and I have lived with psychosis for most of my life. To me, psychosis means living in a different reality. Uh, a reality that isn't shared with other people. Often living with psychosis is dark and miserable. While experiencing psychosis, I've got to hear the voice of God, the opposite, uh, seen and spoken with angels, and been to hell itself. Recovery College and peer support really did turn my life around. I thought I would never get better, and yet here I am. The things that Senua experiences in Hellblaze are very similar to some of our own experiences. Uh, she lives in a reality that uh, other people might find hard to understand. Uh, she sees significance in symbols, in meeting people, in all sorts of things that are going on around her. Senua is experiencing an altered state of reality which would be very hard to understand without having experienced it yourself or playing Hellblade. Lost soul who fought through hell to find us. You were lost. Not anymore. Are you ready for what you will find here? It's difficult to say that it's uh, an illness, that it's not real. Of course, to me, it is and of course to Senua it is and that's what's driving her to do these amazing feats of courage to overcome pain and exhaustion to do what she knows she must all the grief, all the rage, all the fear everything I've seen everything I've done has led me to this place come so far, not far enough. Say it. You are ready to tell them. In Senua's saga Hellblade 2, we tell the second part of the story of Senua, a Celtic warrior who, like Eddie, has experiences of psychosis, seeing the world in a unique way and existing in a reality unshared by others. At a surface level, this manifests for Senua in seeing things that others don't hearing things that others don't, and having unique beliefs about the world. My name's Paul Fletcher. I'm a psychiatrist and a professor of neuroscience at the University of Cambridge, and I've been working with the Ninja Theory team on Hellblade and other projects for several years now. I am a clinical doctor, um, but have also added research and teaching to my role. And in all three areas, I'm especially interested in the human brain and how it strives to make sense of the world, um, which is complex and changing all the time. The lake, like a mirror, you can see the reflection. Senua, like many people, experiences psychosis. Now, psychosis is not a diagnosis, although it is associated with a number of medical and psychiatric conditions. But ultimately, it's a loose description of a shift in one's experience of reality. What are you doing? Screams of the dead. There's something here. You hear them? They are not I need to find out what it is. They are. They a person with psychosis might experience changes in their perceptions and their beliefs. For example, they might see or hear things that other people can't. 
and they might come to believe things that are quite uncharacteristic for them. For example, they might feel that somebody, perhaps somebody even very close to them, is intent on trying to harm them. Now, it's, it's very important to remember that this is not just a vague feeling or an imagination. To the person, it feels like their reality, just as everything around me feels like my reality to me. I, like many people, feel that in order to even begin to understand psychosis, we have to start with thinking about how the brain works in general, how it um, makes sense of the world around it. And when we do that, we're repeatedly confronted with evidence that actually it doesn't just rely on the evidence of our senses, but it actually relies on what it already knows, on its predictions, its anticipations and its expectations. Behold. Your voices. Now that might seem like a defect. After all, why would we want to um, rely on what we already know rather than what the world is telling us? But if we did act simply as passive receivers, um, we would be completely swamped. We'd be like a newborn infant trying to make sense of the colours and shapes without any way of, of having a framework to try and understand that, those uh, colours and shapes. Our senses are bombarded with information from the world that's rapid, it's intensive, it is noisy, ambiguous, unreliable. And if we were try to try and make sense of that without imposing patterns that, and expectations, then it would be like trying to assemble a multi-dimensional jigsaw without knowing what the picture was on the box. Many of us think that the brain ultimately is an organ that makes predictions. Um, it craves patterns and associations in order to make sense of the world. And without that, um, we are confronted with a feeling of uncertainty, of anxiety, of distress, even of fear. They're calling. Something is drawing them. Where do these predictions come from? Many of them are actually embedded in the structure of our brain, probably wired there by evolution. Many of them come from our earliest experiences as babies, trying to make sense of this new world that we're born into. Many come from our early childhood experiences, from what we learn from others and how we interact with others, from our parents, our teachers, our friends. We all have a feeling that we're directly in contact with an objective reality. But it's probably the case that what we experience as our constructed model of the world is a blend of the evidence of our senses, but also what we are predicting or expecting from, from the world. So this blend exists in a very fine and delicate balance, and, and the weighting of that balance probably varies a great deal across different individuals. But crucially, this balance is what determines how we experience and interpret and act upon the world. And some of them are embedded in shared experiences with others, our society, our culture, our arts, even our religions and our mythologies. So for the most part, this works very well for us and enables us to make sense of the world, but it's also being a delicate balance, it can be shifted and it's very easy, even under the most normal day-to-day -day circumstances, to deviate from objective reality. A good example of this is the hollow mask illusion. All of us are familiar with, an, with a mask, we know that it depicts a face and that the inside is hollow. But when we see the mask rotating round and we see the hollow side, there is a deeper prediction, probably embedded in our brain, that uh, facial features tend not to be hollow, that they stick out. And this deeper prediction can override our knowledge that the mask is hollow and make us actually perceive the face as sticking out at us. Despite what we, we know, the deeper predictions will override this. So for me and many in my field, perceptual illusions like this, which are very common, 
are really interesting because they tell us something fundamentally about how the brain is making sense of reality using its predictions. But more than that, for me, it's very interesting because it begins to give us a sense of how psychosis might begin to emerge. Psychosis is this experience of an altered internal construction of one's reality. And it seems feasible that this is dependent upon this balance I've talked about between predictions and evidence. And it is probably the case that some people tend to weight their predictions more heavily. This, in many circumstances, is advantageous because it means that they can discern patterns and associations that perhaps other people can't. But if that balance was shifted further uh, by different circumstances, then it may well be that they begin to construct a reality that doesn't accord with the world around them. What might cause that shift? Well, a number of things. It could be caused by stress, sleep deprivation. It could be caused, be caused by... Um, illness, neurochemical disturbances. It's also the case that um, our experience will change how we predict things. So a very profound experience, for example, of trauma could powerfully change the way in which we make predictions about the world and shift us uh, from this delicate balance into a state of psychosis. In the case of Senua, we know that from an early age, she was able to discern patterns and associations that perhaps other people couldn't. And on top of that, her childhood and adolescence had a number of traumas in it. Her father was abusive and he accused her of being the cause of evil and darkness. Her mother, who had the same capabilities as she did, was actually sacrificed for the same reason. And in addition, her village was uh, attacked by Vikings and her lover was brutally killed. And it's possible that all of these traumas would act on her natural tendencies to topple her into this psychotic experience that is depicted in Hellblade. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. In Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, we find Senua discovering and understanding her experiences. They're relatively new to her and the pain and torment feels at its most acute. Having traveled to a new place with a mind full of her trauma and Drew's stories of the Vikings, she embarks on a journey of coming to terms with what has happened in her life. Ultimately, rather than finding the unachievable certainty of rescuing Dillian, she achieves certainty in the realization that Dillian is gone forever. She learns to accept his death and in turn, her experiences of psychosis. Even in darkness, the wonder and the beauty of this world never leaves us. It is always there, waiting to... In Senua's saga, we find Senua at a different place on her physical and mental journey. Empowered with the sense that she has overcome her own darkness, she's now compelled to follow a new quest, to save her people from that same darkness. You smell that. He's here. Death is coming. Look at the bones. Death is coming. For Look you. at the bones. That's going to be you. That's going to be yeah. everyone. In sacrifice, Senua's psychosis is acute and all consuming. She is preoccupied and absorbed by her experiences. To some extent, she is enveloped and enslaved by the, the darkness. She um, cannot ignore her voices and visions. She's totally committed to the quest within her altered reality. In Saga, there has been some resolution to this. There's no miracle recovery. She still experiences the voices and visions. She still has a changed reality. But the balance of power has shifted. She is the one who is able to be in control. She's able to resist and challenge the voices. She's able to make decisions that much more clearly reflect her own goals. They see through your lies, and I will show them how to see as I do. I will not appease your gods. I will destroy them. And in addition, in Saga, 
she is able to encompass the reality of others. Uh, she sees them for the constructions that they are and she is able to interact with them and I think that's a very powerful change and a very important area to explore. They have lost everything. In Saga, we've had the opportunity to explore the next phase of Senua's mental health journey. One where she's come to a place of understanding, but where she and us as creators have new challenges to overcome where Senua's belief system will clash with that of others. Her experiences will play out in the presence of people who don't share her perspective. And where she feels a new sense of power in being chosen for the quest, but also a new weakness, bowing underneath the weight of responsibility that sits on her shoulders. Wait. In Saga, we have once again utilized by Nora Laudio to bring Senua's voices to life. Her furies still travel with her, but their tone has changed this time. She continues to be haunted by her father, and she starts to feel the audio presence of Icelandic myth infecting her mind. That scream, that voice. It's something dark, Senua. You need to go up there. Don't let them see you coming. You need to find out. To hear the world that Senua does, we spend time with people with lived experiences of psychosis and also with Paul Fletcher. This made a strong basis of what it is to hear voices, what they say, how they sound, how they change or react to external stimulus. And this pair with all we learned from the first game, Hellblade Senua Sacrifice, led us to create Senua's own sonic version of reality. To me, it's a privilege to sit in a room to play our game and as we progress, hear their comments, thoughts and suggestions. Each one provides a different perspective and I find especially inspiring and humbling to hear from Mehdi his own experiences. Especially, I find he has a way of putting very complex emotions, situations in a very simple yet poetic way. And it's really inspiring for me when I'm thinking in Senna's journey. We use binaural audio to bring 3D space in the headphones. This allowed to experience the voice hearing and other sounds with a physical sense. Also extremely important is the performance of the voices. And for that, we have been collaborating with Helen and Abby, our Furies. They are the most prominent voices of Senua. The way we perform is important as well, allowing for freedom, movement, creative input from Helen and Abby, and also important to have with them conversation and spend time talking about the journey of our character. There is a lot of time gone into experimentation, so every sound in the game is connected in some way with the emotion that Senua is experiencing as she travels through Iceland, from the sounds of the nature to some of the musical moments. Beyond of its uniqueness or not, I find that for me, something extremely important is to create a connection beyond the game. So in understanding Senua's own reality and going on a journey with her, I hope our players will understand better how people experience reality different, and in doing so, I feel, we break those walls that keep us distant and lonely. My brothers used to come here to practice fighting out. Follow them. For Saga, in order to bring Senua's experiences of hallucinations to life, it was very important for us to listen to people's real lived experiences. It was then a case of thinking about how Senua's world and reality might look when faced with these types of examples. This would have been impossible without Paul Fletcher and amazing people like Eddie and Kathy, who've been so open and honest about what they have been and do go through on a day-to-day -day basis. I think it takes real strength to be able to talk about such personal things to a new group of people. On the visual side, we have lent into things like repeating fractal geometry shapes, cymatic patterns, with lighting and post-processing changes to all help reflect the current feelings of Senua. And hopefully, when combined with the audio and gameplay, the player will get a sense of what we are aiming to achieve. Dying, like, just 
sleep before. No, this cannot happen again. You couldn't do anything. We have to stop it happening. Face it. You need to face it. Focus. You need to look. In Sacrifice, we saw a story of Senua's suffering at the hands of her experiences. In Saga, we're telling a more nuanced story of the next step on her journey. One where she has found a greater balance, but where her experiences are just as strong. Where rather than being a victim to her experiences of psychosis, she is driven by them on a path that only she sees. Bringing sin with you. The gods cannot be killed. One thing that I find very exciting in Saga is that there's an attempt to explore something that is really neglected in my field, which is the experience of a dual reality that some people have. People who have had Senua's types of experience have spoken to me about this feeling that they have their own reality, but they also recognize the reality that others experience, and it can be very confusing, it can be disorientating. And it's exciting to me that the game contains a, an explicit attempt to portray this experience of dual realities. And I think it'll be very interesting to see how people respond to that. It's amazing what, what has been done and what, what's been portrayed. I think it's really difficult to turn words into what other people might be seeing. But I think it's, a, I'm always blown away by what Ninja Theory come up with for their games. And I'm re really stunned at the quality of, you know, the, the things that she sees and, um, and the sounds of, of the voices that she has. Um, I think they're pretty realistic. She's getting closer. Yes, she can feel it. I hope that the game will help people who maybe don't understand psychosis or don't know very much about it to start with. I think by experiencing some of what they will do in the game, I think it brings to life a little bit of what it's like to have psychosis. And I think hopefully people will learn from it. Now I'm working as a peer support worker. And what that means is that I, in my case, in, in, in the job that I have in my role, it means that I go to see my people to see my peers, we talk about how things have been. The way that Hellblade has captured the experience of psychosis is nothing like I've ever seen before in terms of its realism, in terms of its uh, fairness to people like me.
Senua. The outcast who became a warrior, who faced her demons and challenged the gods for her lover's soul, has accepted the voices, the furies, as part of herself. Just like her mother, Galena, she was not like other people. She saw and heard the world differently. Her father, Zinbel, told her she was evil, tainted by the sin of her mother. Tormented and afraid, she retreated from the world. Until love broke through like the rays of a new dawn. In Dillian's acceptance, she could live again. He gave light to her mind and freed a warrior from her body. But the voice of her father stayed with her, reminding her of her curse. And when the plague came to her land, the people blamed Senua. She took her darkness with her banishing herself to the wilds. So she was not there when the Northmen massacred her people and sacrificed Dillian to the god of hell. Senua's torment was so deep that the world around her fell away. She took the head of her beloved, the vessel of his soul, and vowed to go to hell herself to save him. Through mist-shrouded horrors, she fought to find the secret path that would lead her to the very gates of hell. But the way was marked by fire and illusion. Senua had to fight the gods that guarded these paths and stave off the rot which threatened to consume her mind and end her life. Only conquest could open the gates. Only blood would bring her face to face with Hela. Face to face with defeat. Once again, Senua was engulfed in darkness, lost in a maze of misery and confusion until Dillian's voice led her to the promise of victory. A sword that could kill a god. To win the sword, Senua would drown in her darkest memories, pulling at the shards lodged in flesh, mind and soul. She pressed deeper into the underworld, resisting its grasping hands and deafening cries until she found her prize before the guardian of Hell's gates. Senua released her rage, a fury that could not be stopped, not by savage jaws, not by waves of warriors, not by the pull of death itself. In defeat and desperation, Senua begged for her beloved's release. But a sacrifice must be made, and burdens cast away. Senua's fate was never in the hands of the gods, but in her own. Only she could choose out of love to live, to go on, and to take us with her.
do I know you? It's been a long time. She made a promise to the one she loved, dead now, but no less. A promise. Not one soul more would suffer as he had. She carries him in her heart. His death, his life, will drive her on. She will forge a purpose from his death. Make meaning from the pain. And then the Northmen came again to our land. Stripping us of our names, our lives. Of everything that makes us who we are. Beating and binding. Taking us as slaves. These Northmen sail under a blood-red sign. And one among them they call. Master. Senua will follow that sign. She let herself be taken, dragged in chains to their ships, so she can trace the poison to its source, find the heart, and cut it out. Stop the slavers. Keep her promise. can drift off course. It begins as it ends. Alone, in the dark. Pulled by forces dim and vast, fate can stop you cold. A dream has founded with the ship. She must find a new light to steer by, find the next sign. We cannot stay here. Too cold. Let's climb. Don't think 
come about. She's ever known half drow. Lost in a world still clouded to her eyes. And she won't yield. She must fight on. As she always has. Remember? We've been to hell before. There it is. This is only the beginning. Climb somewhere. You need to climb again. She will fall if she does. She will die if she does. Climb somewhere. Climb, climb. She's hurt. So tired. She's going to fall. No! Careful, Senua. draw her onward. The ones who didn't live. The ones she could not save. She can hear them calling. Lives stolen by the Northmen. She carries them with her. Always. She is afraid, exhausted. She won't stop. Stronger forces drive her on.
The slavers. This is the right way. The signs are leading me. They brought me here. She knows that all through this world there are signs and symbols waiting to be discovered. The meaning is there. If only you can find it. If you want to know, you need to focus. You know how to do it. Focus and with a symbol, try to focus. Do not forget my story, Senua. I am with you still. Out of hell you have come, and now find yourself in Midgard, the world of man. Do not think it any less dangerous for that. Your path has taken you far from home, across the boundless sea, and you must go on to the heart of this place, to the heart of man. You have seen how the Northmen journey out to conquer, and this is one of their lands, as icy dark as Niflheim, yet as fiery as Muspel. It has not long been claimed, and they try still to tame it. That shape, an enslaved. Follow him, but be careful. 
They will kill you this time. Like they did to her. On the cliff. You were too weak to help. Follow him. Be ready to fight. She is a warrior. A warrior with no sword. No weapon. She came here with nothing. What good are you to anyone with no weapon? He will kill you. He yeah. will. Why didn't you stop it? Too slow. Too, too weak. Let her die. He is right. They were survivors. I need to help the other slaves. You let her die. Why we came here. She came here for her reason. And now she doesn't know what to do. You don't know where you're going. Your plan is in pieces. She is lost. You're lost. The enslaver, the master, is gone. I have to you help them. thought you could stop this. But you have lost your mark. The sea tore them away. Just like don't need to listen to him. You know this man. Listen to us. You know better. Find the survivor. He is trying to trick you. You need to help the survivors. save them. They're already dead. The lost ones. Don't listen to him. Listen to us, not him. 
You're a liar! to find a way out of here. You are lost too. She must find a way out. How can the lost find anyone? Listen, don't listen. You failed them. Don't listen to him. They are dead, like your mother. Hey, shut up! Like Make him shut up! Love. Stop it! You know that's so focus, Sarah. Focus. Don't let it block you. Focus. Do it. Focus. They are suffering, but I set them free. Simple. We need to find it. It's here. Somewhere. Look for it. Look for the sign. Find the right perspective. You will sense when you are close. The signs are here. Do you know where to look? Do you know where to look? She doesn't. She doesn't. <laughs> It's there. Focus. You found it. You found it. Focus. It's for me. You don't know how deep this darkness goes. Yes, you've done it. You completed the symbol. What now? You must go back to the game. She must go back. Behind the symbol is the source. The source of their gun. You need to understand it. Uncover the darkness, Senwa. This is why you have come. the source of all this. I promised. I'm here. Joy. The dead are here. Can you hear them, Sen? They follow us, Sen. Joking. Because they're struggling. You couldn't save them, but you can save the survivors. Don't listen to the dead. Just move onwards. Find the survivors. Yeah. <laughs> 
Stop. Stop. Too much. So many times. There's nothing you can do. Do you see the body, Senwa? The sea throws them up to show you how you've lost. Look at them, Senwa. The faces of the ones you fail. Look, wait. Wait, look. Some of them. Some of them, they survived. They tried to. Tried to. They were wounded. They were scared, but alive. You can find them. They need you. Find somewhere to hide. Help them.
everything you touch dies. You are cursed. It is you bringing your darkness here, your rot. Why did you bring your curse here? You don't know. She never knows. She knows what Idiots. Stupid, stupid. She thought she could be the hero, but everyone is dead. No one left to save. You left it too late. You didn't. Do 
What are you going to do with that sword, girl? He looks ready for you. He is ready to fight. You're ready. We will end this. You're fucking dead. <laughs> is that the best you can do? <laughs> Is that all you got? My sword! Don't they make warriors where you're from? You should keep fighting, girl. I'm enjoying this. If you want to die. Is that really it? 
No fight left in you. Come on! Come on! You're gonna take me where I need to go. Yes. Yes. He will take you. He will show you. He has to. He will help you. You have spared him, and now he will take you where you need to go. You can do this. Where you come from. Where you take the slaves. I can't walk. How do you expect me to take you anywhere? His pain doesn't matter. Make him walk. We'll walk. She has to save them. You have to. There is no other way. It's why we have come here. I'm not leaving until I get what I came for. You made a promise. She made a promise. You promised. I made a promise. She knew the path would open to her. A blood-carved stave, a salt sea falling, a too familiar darkness, an endless night. He is the next sign. Poisoning her mind with fear. That 
rot. Covers him now. Covers him. Do you see it, Senwa? Yes. She sees Do you see it. the darkness? She, she feels it. The faces of fear and suffering. You can see it. That sign. What is it? You need to understand. You need to understand. Answer! It is my father, Sigil. His father. Your father. Huh? The Gothi. Monster. He's here. <laughs> Look at him. No. But this place is his. The people here are weak. They would not survive without his help. You like you. Does she? Enough! He's wounded. He won't try anything. You have to keep your eyes on. We should have thrown you overboard. I wish you had drowned like the others. Just wait till I get free. What happened to him? It smells of death. This isn't right. Something evil has happened here. We should turn back. The Skald's verse speaks of a man called Grettir the Strong. A strange and bloody life he led. And it happened in this land you have come to. Listen to his story, Senua, for it may in some small way illuminate your own. seriously think you will survive here? You don't know this place. He is evil. He knows this place. She shouldn't trust him. No further. Something's wrong. What happened to him? It smells of death. He doesn't want to. The settlement has fallen to the Draegar. Draegar? There is nothing but death beyond those gates. I don't want to see what's in there. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Don't listen. Someone is suffering. Help me. You need to go inside. You need to help them. Someone needs your help. Everyone is dead in there. Everyone. Help us. Do you want to join them? You came here to help. Let's go. Listen to yourself. What is beyond there is too dark. We are leaving. Now. Don't give me orders, slaver. <laughs> we'll find another way in. We need to find them. Move quickly. Quick. Quick. 
I will take you to my people, like mine. I said. He has but a not into this settlement. You have no idea what you're walking into. He wants you to doubt. Just turn around. No, we can't leave. Don't tell him you hear things. Do you remember the screams? He wouldn't understand. I can't. Damn you. Why won't you listen to reason? I thought your father protected these people. He does. Did. You can't protect people from their own stupidity. It looks like they let their guard down. They brought this on themselves. These Troika, what are they? What is this evil he understands that we do not? The truth. You see these graves? This is how we honor our dead. There will be no one to bury you. on at these graves. What happened? I told you. Droiger. Droiger. Who are they? Are they they won't just kill you. Are they from this world or another it world? It is far worse. It is what they do after. They... They will kill you. They will kill us. You still have a chance to save your life. If you stop, no. You must trust yourself. Listen to your own mind. Is it my life you're trying to save? He is scared. Why? Why is he scared? He knows what they are capable of. Why would you bring him with you? Are you sure you want to? She has to leave him. He will be a burden to you. But what if he escapes? What are you going to do, somewhere? What are you going to do? Decide. Oops. 
something here. I need to find out what it is. They are. They are. They're dead. You're mad. She's not mad. She doesn't see the signs. It makes sense. Stupid. He doesn't. You're mad. He doesn't know. He doesn't see the signs. There is no way. I am going in there. Look at him. Look at him. Wounded. Hurt. Defeated. But you need him. No. You're not. But we need him alive. He will try to escape. She has. A Go on then. Do it. Don't let the rage get the better of you. The rage, the rage is coming. Just moments ago, he had to kill you. You shouldn't have saved him. This was a mistake. How does it feel to be the one bound, helpless, waiting to die? When this heals, I will kill you, mad woman. For that, you'll need to stay alive. You must discover what is happening, what evil is here. The Northmen raided your village. They enslaved people. They took Dillian. Your beloved Dillian. They killed him, Senor. He died because of them. Do you remember? They took him from you. Your Dillian. They killed him. in blood. The blood. Don't think that. Control you. 
so many dead. your breath. The air smells thick with disease. The stench of it. You can never forget that memory lurks. If you face it, the past will free you. Face it. Focus. You need to look at it. Face the past. There's blood. Fresh on the floor. Hmm. Something happened here. Something happened. Not long ago. Deepest, darkest memories. Be careful with the past. She's getting closer. Yes, she can feel it. You have to get to the right place. You have to look at it the right way to see it fully. Not here. Above. On that platform. There. Up there. There. How will she get up there? Oh, she can't find a path. You have to find a way. 
place, Emma. There must be a way. Face it. Focus. You found the first part, yes. Two more to go. Two more. Only two. This place will work its way into your mind. It will suck you back into the past and hold you there. She's getting closer. Yes, she can feel it. Face your fear. Focus. You found another part. One more to go. One more, sir. I warn you. You are back there now. In the worst time of your life. Somewhere around here. Look. She can feel it. Look closer. Close. Getting closer. She can feel it. Focus. Go through it to the other side. Focus. You know what's coming. You have come so far. This is the hardest part. <sighs> What are you doing? Return to the gate. Use the same. You think Use you it. understand? You will never understand. Where are we now? Where are you? What's that? Oh, you recognize this place? No. Senua, it's home. Mommy. Senua. Oh, you've come home. It will help you get through this. It will. Listen. 
the burning. They are coming. Smoke. I bet you will soon. The Northmen are coming. They are coming for you. Remember what they did to you. How your village droughts in the past all oh, that she lost tearing at her with dead hands and eyes of fire her village just cinders now the past is never past her father Simba did you think you could escape your past, Senua. You tried to run, didn't you? She can't forget. You can never forget. You thought you got away. No. You thought you left it behind in hell. Dillian, Dillian, you're Dillian. You are lovely, Dillian. Him, him. But you will never be free of this. His pain. However far you go, it will hold you forever in darkness. It's the only way. Take your darkness with you. It's yours. Be in control of it. You will never leave your past behind. It binds you here. Drown in the memory of him. Helpless. She will be lost in grief forever. I carry it with me. To hold on to it. It drives me forward. She cannot forget. It's a promise. Not a prison. Keep it close. Don't let the past stop you. Don't let it drag you down. Your destiny awaits. Look up.
worst pain, the cruelest blows, they make us who we are. Do you see that? She does. She won't lose them again, her mother, her lover. She won't forget. She won't let them slip from her, like light fading as eyes close. She will hold them. What's that? Traveller. Something is hidden. Can you see it? So beautiful. They're moving, moving, transforming. Where will it take you? Where? Look, life. Focus and In all the places of the earth, they know that the gods and spirits affect man's path. All the misfortune that befalls man lies at their feet. If you have eyes to see, you see their presence and their power. Keep your eyes open, traveler. 
and you might see their faces. In all the places of the earth, they know that the gods and spirits affect man's path. All the misfortune that befalls man lies at their feet. If you have eyes to see, you see their presence and their power. Keep your eyes open, traveler, and you might see their faces. Scream that voice. Something dark, so you need to go up there. Don't let them see you coming. You need to find out. Don't let the monsters find you. You can do this, Emma. We believe in you. She knows what it's like to fear. As a child, scared of the night, her mother's soft voice calmed her. But now, She's alone. And there's more to fear than just the darkness. There are ghosts that walk in the noonday sun. Monsters that climb out from under the bed. Some shadows can't just be dispelled with light. Some shadows don't want to scare you. They want your blood. Your flesh. Your life. But the voices are calling. It's easy to turn back, turn away, when every nerve is screaming with fear. Be safe, be quiet, run and hide, run away. 
But to turn back is to lose yourself, lose your way, defeated and dead-eyed. And the path ahead is clear, soaked in blood and bile, but beacon bright and clear. journey to these darkest lands to heal those overcome by fear and hate. However dark it seemed, I always found a ray of light. In this wretched land, by far the darkest of them all, it seemed the shadow would never lift. But I knew I would find my light. Who is he? He knows her. He feels us. Reaching out to us in the dark. You have to help him, Senwa. This is our quest. This is our destiny. Our mission. Senwa, would you give your life for these outsiders? In my darkest hour. It was an outsider who saved me. This man, his kin killed yours. You should want his blood, not to give him aid. Oh, you have lost your way. The revenant glamour roamed the settlements, terrifying all those who lived there. Each one he killed, in turn, rose to walk beside him. Thus, evil begets evil. But the man Grettir was proud and overbearing. 
and thought the Droiger no match for his strength. voice cuts through the chaos. He is her next sign, the next step on her path. She will bathe in blood, her sword will sing, and she will free him. Let's go! Come on! Come on! Come on! 
What is your name? Senua. I've been waiting for you. Do it. Do it now. It's here. Help me. His voice. Dies. She is coming. Can you feel her? She can feel it. Something from the other world is coming. Run! 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 Run!
me. Daybreak. She'll have to hide from the light now. Because he will hunt us. Find our trail as soon as he can. You're not safe now. Let's go. Are you? My name is Fargrimur. I come from a settlement nearby. I came here to seek help. He almost died. You had phrased like had fallen to the driver. And to something else. I walked into a massacre. What was that? And they took me as well. But he was not like Why the were you bound to that pole? What were the Draugr doing? I'm calling to the creature, drawing her forth with her. thunder and blood. The creature called through death. And I was an offering. Tiger. But why? Why were they calling it? It killed them. Are we safe now? I seem to worship her. He seems too calm. What if she comes back? Her dark heart seems to speak to their own. I mean, all the old gods have left this land, so... We should leave as well. Oh, we find new ones where we can. This land is cursed, Senua. We will only find death. Everyone is dying, and you know they will blame you. Everyone does. We do. What are you going to do? What can we do? Follow him. said that Loki lies imprisoned in a cave, trapped by his enemies, who set a serpent above to drip venom on his face. His wife, Sigyn, sits beside to catch the venom in a bowl, but when she must leave to empty it, poison falls unabated. His pain is so great that he thrashes and writhes. And here above, we see the earth shake and break apart.
I need to return home to my people. Go with him. He can help you. If you come with me, I will offer you what help I can. But I have to warn you, a creature stalks my village. Her ill tiger. We can offer you refuge for a time, but not safety. You've seen her before. Uh, they have no hope. To my cost. To everyone's cost. She haunts this they land lost from here everything. to my village in Red Hills. If we go with him, she will find us. We will find her. Maybe you can fight her, Senua. say that Grettir fought and killed the Droiger Glamour, but not before Glamour had cursed him. His strength would be turned against him. His deeds bring death and exile, and he would be always before Grettir's eyes, making him afraid to be alone. He saw all sorts of phantoms wherever he looked, and thus people who see things that aren't there are said to have glamour's eyes. So you're from Orkner by your accent. How did you come here? As a slave. I have the slave master tied down there. He brought you here. The master. Maybe he escaped. We don't know his Thorkister? name. We do now. I didn't ask his name. Thorkister of Borkavirki. There. We need to go there. He knows. He knows. You know it? Can you tell me how to get there? Yes, but why would you want to go there? I'll kill you. Or worse. You need to go there, Senwa. Don't doubt. Don't be a coward. He can help you. He will show you the way. You don't need that monster. What was the name? Thorcaster. By the gods. Oh, what a terrible thing this is. Dragon were always savage. This is worse than I ever thought possible. I believed that with time we could claw back our land. He wished that. But he didn't believe it. He has no hope. Well, this gets. Darker, bloodier with each day that passes. He is asking for help. He didn't ask anything. He did. She cannot help. She has a mission. Let her think.
There's nothing you can do. You are letting the past control you. No, it's too much. She's mad. She's a witch, I heard. It's worse than you could ever imagine. Stuff for Gaston. He's still there. <sighs> still alive. What are you going to do, Senua? You know what to do. We don't need him anymore. So what do you want to do about him? Nothing. Leave him. I don't need him. You can tell me where I need to go. He cares about him. Stupid well, if you leave freak. him, he will die. Draugar. Or simply starvation. Don't doubt, Senua. If the Draugar took him. It would be no less than he deserves. Help me. She is weak. Don't feel pity. He doesn't deserve it. <sighs> she cannot do it. Something about him. She saw it. Not just a monster. She saw it. A ray of light. He is evil. There is no choice. So stupid. She's not listening to us. Stupid. She is saving him. That monster. The monster. That wound looks bad, Thorgister. Well, if you accept my hospitality, I can have it treated. You will not make it far alone. I will come with you, but this changes nothing. Do not expect any gratitude from me or my father. How could I? You still haven't told me what she is. It's so many questions. She's giant. I waken at sundown. Il Toyka. A giant. A cursed land. But now she has help. Fagrima knows this land. Many have tried to fight them, but all have failed. They're immortal. Maybe the gods can kill them, but there are no gods in these lands. The giants, they hide by day and hunt at night. Now you may think, well, at least there's some respite by day. But know this. The nights grow longer. And come winter, there is no day, just endless night. Soon the time of man will end. This place. Mm. What is this place? My settlement. In pain. I let my people Broken. here, promise them a new life. He called this home. An escape from the madness and misery across the sea. And for some time we were happy. Like us. We were happy. Until him. Well, then the volcano and the darkness came. The monster started enslaving people. Iltoyga stalks my settlement when night falls. She tramples our crops and kills what little livestock we've left. We're starving. Why don't you leave? 
We've tried. They failed. No matter how far we get by day, as night falls, she hunts us down. And there are children here. People too weak to run. We're trapped. Night on night, our numbers fall. He is asking you to help. No, he isn't. They need you. They are dead if they don't fight back. See them, Senora. Cracks, cracks in the ground. The land is broken. Il Toiga made them. She did this. The giants they hunt at night. The sun. It's going down. She's coming. The light is fading. Be careful.
Gods. What a ruin. Where is everyone? On the rocks. High. Safe. Rito, I can't reach them. You should have joined us when we offered you the chance. There is no honor in the path you've chosen. Say that again, old man. And I'll cut you like a fish. Thorgester, have a look around you. Have a thought as to who your real enemy is. What does he mean? Who is the real enemy? The giants are the real enemy. No honor. He said there was no honor in the enslaver's path. Which path did he choose? This place has secrets. She needs to find out. She can see the thread that binds the world, can feel its hidden pulse, and knows when that pulse quickens. She feels it now, a tremor on her skin, a being taking shape. Something is coming. To run. Run! Ah! She's here. Let's go. Get to the hills! Get out of here.
She is reaching, reaching for something. She wants him. Quick, for him. Save him. Quick. She was brave. She's stupid. <laughs> She can see into you. We are monsters. She a monster. Are you a monster? Yes, she's so close. Some of you realize she is like us. She is suffering, suffering like you. We can see her. She knows you. you again. Go! She's coming back! There are some wills so strong they dream a new world. A hell of their own creation. And they will not sit lonely in that nightmare. If you wake the dreamer, does the nightmare die? You're not safe yet. Where are we? Make him explain. What is happening? Il Toyga. Who is she? So when the volcano erupted. It tore open the wall between this world and your time. The giants came flooding from the east, killing and eating More whomever they could lay their hands on. You now some of us, we hide. You have to fight, not hide. Make defenses, struggle on. And some of us use others to stem the tides. Others? <sighs> what do you mean? Tell her, tell her, Thorgestur. Tell me, tell me. Shall I tell her what your father's been doing? What else is there to do, Fagrimer? We found a way to keep our people safe. He is part of it too. He believes. Your people are dying. Yes, there is no other way. Tell us, tell us. What are they doing? The Gode of Borgarvirki is using slaves. Slaves from your lands. Sacrifices. Sacrifice. He's offering them to the giants so that his people will be left alone. He takes innocent people. Evil. This stops now. He's a monster. Stand alone against us. You have no chance. He does not see, but he can see. His darkness is evil. We can show him. He's a monster. There is Senor, another way. There is always another way. Stella has your mark now. If you try to leave the Red Hills, he will hunt and kill you. No. Then I will kill her first. <laughs> she, she can't be killed. It's impossible. I have killed a god, Fagrima. Nothing is impossible. No, there is no way. He is right. We cannot kill the giant. The gods cannot be killed. You can't. You deserve this. Why did you come here, Senua? To stop the slavers? I thought you were helping them. And now you are stranded. Stay. You can't stop them. You can't kill the giant. You can't stop them. I will. I will kill the giant. So sure, with so little reason to be sure. 
I will find a way. No. There is no way. I will always be here to remind you to know your place. To stop you getting ideas into your head. to banish the darkness. It is not so easy to banish me, child. You can't beat me down anymore.
way to appease them is with sacrifice. Burning flesh and spilling blood fill the skies with smoke. Their agony sets us free. The gods must be placated, or everyone will suffer. You will never be free, never safe. Unless you heed my words. You can't hurt me. I carry the light. Light fades, Senua. Light can be... killed. The darkness is all that persists. Your only constant. There is no way out. There is always a way. No. You will see. There will be a blow you can't recover from. An abyss you can't crawl out of. A nightmare you can't wake from. And I... You must do as I say or you will anger the gods. You will never find your way through this nightmare. You will never find your way through this nightmare. It's time to give up, child. Leave 
leave this land. No. What you did to me, I see it here. They are cowed like I was. Lost like I was. Believing what they're told. Sacrifices. Spilling blood for a lie. I speak the truth. your darkness now. I see through your lies, and I will show them how to see as I do. I will not appease your gods. I will destroy them. tried to hold you down in the darkness. Darkness. Told you there was no way out. That the gods ruled you. But you fought back. You were strong. Maybe you can fight back now. She can fight back. She can. Maybe there is a way to pull through. There is always a way to pull through the darkness. The darkness. To kill the giant. She will find a way. She is strong. You are powerful. She is stronger than this. You can kill her gods. She knows the truth. She sees it now. Tell him. You are wrong, Fagrimer. The giants, they can be killed. But there is a way. Well, I'm not sure I believe that. But I think if anyone can find a way, it's you. He knows we are special. Before, when I rescued you, he understood. He said you, you were waiting for me. He felt us coming. But I'd never met you. How can he see inside well, you? I knew someone would come. Somebody different. You are different. Somebody with the ability to look at the world and see what might be. You are special. Now what is? She's not special. And that is you. She's just like the others. No, she I've is seen special. you listening to the voices that we cannot hear. To the Verdir and Gandir. Voices? How does he know about us? You have the ability to see behind the veil. You are a Sedkona, a seer. Whether you know it yet or not. A seer? What is this he speaks of? Do you know, Senwa? Do you know this is you? Yiltoiga. Where does she go when the sun is up? She brings suffering to everyone. A monster. She hides down there. Hiding. Waiting. Under the cover of the cliff. She's there most days. Just staying close. These people live in fear. Waiting for us to slip. Constant fear. They are waiting to die. You cannot die. approach her down there in the shadows. You don't stand a chance. And she won't come out until it's night. You have to do something. This is why you have been called here, Senua. They shouldn't live in fear. He knows. Listen to him. Have you heard of the Hidden Folk? Hidden Folk? The Hidden Folk? Yeah. Have you heard of them? A secret people, powerful, aloof. Once they were gods or something like, but now they hide themselves in the earth. Even the giants steer clear. The giants fear them. If the giants fear them, they must hold the key to their They hold the secret. Will they help us? Well, 
<laughs> they have no love for man. And whatever ties we have are weaved from heartbreak and despair. Although I did consume their bitter breath found them. just once. So it is not they impossible. Did grab me what I saw. If he can find them, you can find them. <laughs> they will. They will test you. We have been tested. They before. might even try to kill you. But if you win their favor, we might die. They might give you what you seek. Where can I find them? They will give us what we seek. There's a rock. Close to here. Where they are said to live. Its entrance is hidden. You might find she it. She will find it. They want you to? You will. I will find it. We might die down there. No. We could die trying to find them. They will give us what we seek. They are dangerous. But they will help us. We will make them. Make them. They know things. They can see things. They can hear things. They are the ones that pulled us here. They are the feeling that brought us here. They will save everyone from death. They will show you how to end the giants. They will save you. But be careful. No more sacrifices. Be careful, Senwa. This stops now. That orchestra of Borkevirki. What is he doing here? They need to help. Not him. He won't help us. I don't like this. What about the others? I don't know. We're better to stay away from them. Rifsker, Thorgrim found a huge finback whale, beached and dead. His neighbor, Thorfinn, had already found it and was in the process of flensing it. But Thorgrim claimed it as his own. Thorfinn said he would not give it up without a fight. If that's what you want, Thorgrim said, let it be so. And he launched a blow at Thorfinn cutting off his head in one strike.
she has been chosen. All the lost ones. Only she can save them. All the people here dying in this nightmare. Only she can set them free. And she's running out of time. Every day that dies, every sun that sets, another loses their life. Night fading from their eyes and name cast away on the wind. And soon the sun will set for good. of your birth, people live hidden too, in the hills and stones. They may be the remnants of a godly race, who lost a war with giants and, finding the world changed, retreated into silence. But you still see their carvings and circles from the time when they walked among men. offering.
dead. Bodies. Bodies everywhere. Will she fail this test? She will not fail. They are listening. Watching. Here, they know that if times are harsh, you may ask of the hidden folk to share their bounty. And if you are strong and wise and good, they may hear your plea and send you aid. But if you are not, or if you do not respect the strictures they lay down, you might have your strife doubled. fought, armed only with the knives and axes they had brought to cut up the whale, even picking out the whale ribs to beat down their enemies. Thorgrim's men had loaded their boats with whale meat, but as they went to leave, one of their opponents struck Thorgrim's brother a fatal blow. And this is how hunger fates desperate men to come to blows, striking out against one another to survive.
They want more from us. The next test. Find the altar. Oh, bodies. Oh, bodies. They came to ask for help and now they are dead. Bring it back to them. Let them see. You are not like the others.
prove to them. Prove it to you. Can you show them, Senwa? Show us, Senwa. <laughs> Can you still hear them? Don't lose the thread. The hidden thread. of your birth, and in these lands too, they know that people can be taken by the secret fair ones. If you are not careful and do not keep to the pathways, you may find yourself among them. Skulls speak of the time Grettir, traveling with some others, ran into rough weather and docked their boat on an island. They had not brought fire with them, and the merchants complained bitterly. Seeing a great fire blazing on the other side of the strait, Grettir said he would swim over to fetch it. He took off his clothes and struck out across the water, wearing nothing but a cloak.
Yes, she can still hear them. She can. We can follow them. You have to follow them now. When Grettir came to the farm where the fire was burning, all was peaceful. By the time he reached them, his cloak was frozen stiff, and he looked like nothing more than some huge troll. The frightened farmhands struck out at him with the first things to hand, the burning logs from the fire. Grettir fought them off and got the fire he sought. But the sparks from the logs spread fire all over the house, and nobody survived the blaze. Over there, it's coming from down there. What does it mean? It's a sign. You're on the right path. Yes. Question you. Are you the one, Senwa? She has to be. The lake is here too. Look at the water. This doesn't feel right. So deep and dark. It is trying to claim us. Trying to take you down with it.
get harder. I'm scared. I don't like it down here. This place. 
place is dangerous. Are you sure you want to go on? Can you do that? She's not ready. Are you strong enough? Or will you die yet? Thank <laughs> you. 
has been chosen. Far Grima saw it. The part of her she keeps hidden, pushed down, covered with silence. Far Grima saw that too. No matter how much she tries to hide it from the world. And now that part of her that scared her for so long, that she fought so hard, has brought her to this place, chosen, special. But will she be enough? What will they ask of her? Can she give it? They said it. You are the one. They chose you. They showed us the way to them. Hidden like them. Go to them, Senwa. They will tell you. <laughs> tell us how to kill a giant. You know what that means, do you, Senwa? No more sacrifices. Once again, she is leaving the sun, leaving the world, plunging into the unknown places which no light touches. She has always been afraid of the dark, a deep, still silence that blinds her eyes till she thinks she will never see again. But there is a thread this time. Connect her to the ones above. She has promises to keep. She will not let them down. Where are we going, Senua? Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. I don't like this. <clears throat> what were they looking for? The hidden book. Like her. Maybe they are still here. What is this place? Just a cave. She knows what she's doing. It's a trick. Trust yourself, Emma. to the east, they know that when a traveler finds themselves lost, it is the fault of the Vadadaj, who wait at the crossroads to trick souls passing by. The only remedy is to let your horse lead you home, because beasts have no souls. But if you have no horse, your soul is lost forever.
Still, nothing special. It was a dream. It's getting smaller. Where is it taking her? Everything you have done has brought you here. To nothing. Nowhere. Maybe your father was right. Maybe you are nothing. Maybe you will die here. Just like the others. No one will remember you. You will be nothing. <sighs> Careful with your torch. Don't let the torch die. If the light goes out, we will be lost here forever. Look. What? A light. Where is it? A light at the end of the dark. Coming back. They're here. Look at the light. <laughs> the scones speak of how Grettir, now an outlaw, took rest on the island of Haramsoy with a man called Audun. Grettir saw a great yellow glow like a fire rising from the ground. Audun told him it was coming from the burial mound of Carr the Old, who ever since he died had haunted the island, and warned him to stay away. They failed the test. What were they looking for? Will you fail, Sandra? More rock, more darkness. Is she lost? Look, there's a the light shining. Oh, yes. Lighting your way. She was lost, but now. They are here. <clears throat> the hidden folk are still here. She found a way. 
Sometimes things hide in the darkness. Sometimes they hide in the light. In this place, they know that sometimes the hidden folk will take their children and leave another in their place. These children may look the same as their own, but will be dazed and far away, or ill-tempered. And you know then, you have a changeling in your house. There's a path to find, Senwa. But where is it? Always the most difficult way to go. Oh, you have to find it, Senwa. There must be something else to find. Light will guide the way. Will it? You have to trust it. This is a different kind of light. What else can you do but trust it? She doesn't have a choice.
needs the light, but sometimes she needs the darkness. Someone walking. You are not alone, Senwa. Should you follow them? They could be dangerous. She knows what she has to do. The hidden folk. They made this. They want you to get lost. Don't go down there. How much further must we go? How many more tests? What can they want from us? You are all alone. They are laughing at you. They will not help you. the darkness and the water. They know what you're scared. They can hear us. They can hear you thinking. They can hear what we fear. Quiet now. The hidden folk are toying with you now. There's a reason for this. Playing with you. They're testing me. I can feel that something is wrong. Can we turn back? Is it too late to turn back? The hidden folk have grown malicious. What's that noise? Growing something coming. I can feel it. Something is wrong here. Shame. I don't like it in here. 
So now something is coming. Something is coming, something is coming, something doesn't feel right to you.
will take you. They will try to drag you down. Don't let them. No, send one. You can do it. You are stronger than this. <sighs> they will always hunt her. The ones she did not save. Clasping her desperately, iron bands around her, dragging her down with them. Imploring eyes and outstretched hands until they fall away into darkness, only to rise again. Everything you regret, your shame, your pain. Turn your face to them and open your eyes. You can only hide for so long, and then you must take the plunge. Follow it. A path of light. Path of light, you have to go there. Some things can only be done alone. 
No sunlight. Just the darkness. Who is that? I thought we were alone. I thought we were alone. What is that? Is that? What are they doing? In the end, love lies the beginning. Rewarded. And if we don't make our way, they will kill us. No. Yes. A light. A light. What do they say? Something. Grab the torch. Something needs to be done. What is this place? Sky. So beautiful. Is it possible? Too deep for this kind of beauty. Aprazia, light it. Light it with your torch. This, this is where we need to go. We need to find our path into that cavern. We have to get there. Look, another opening. How do we get to it? She doesn't know. She doesn't know. You need to know. You need to find out. It's another test. Don't trust it. You need to prove yourself. She needs to prove herself. She needs to show them that she is worthy. But is she worthy? Are you worthy, so she does. Are you? Already lit. The way is blocked, but it can be changed. Change the world and make your path. Make your own path. They are testing us still. They're testing you. They are laughing at you. They can see everything you do, every single mistake you another make. Another test, another test, another test, another test. When will it end? You need to think. She needs to think. Listen to this place. This place where you belong. The beauty of it. You know what to do now. What if it's not right? You can believe that it's right. Trust yourself. Hmm. There is.
there's always doubt. This is what it feels like when you're in the right place. You know, Senwa. Give them the torch. It's all she has. She can't give it to them. You'll be trapped here forever. You won't be able to see. Now she is trapped. Stupid. Stupid. You need a torch. You can't do anything without your torch. Trapped here now forever. Think. Forever. There must be a way through. That figure. Huh? Yes, there. A path. You can do this anyway. Wisdom lies beyond. She has to find what is hidden. We need to get to the other side, change the rock back, make it disappear. What's oh, that? Light. Light everywhere. There is a path to find. Somewhere. But where is it? Oh, it's the most difficult way to go. Oh, you have to find it somewhere. They are making you work for this. You What is it? What does it mean? Yes, there, a path. Remember what they say. Report. 
reward it. Reward it? With what? We haven't passed the test yet. Over there. Where? The cave. Back to the beginning. Now what? No. She has to get over there. Go. There, a path is open. Can she get through now? Sword does. The light does as well. Let's go to the cabin. It's getting dark. So dark. We are going into the darkness again. No. I don't want to go into the darkness again. I don't want to go into the darkness no, either. No, no, no. no. Stay again. here. Stay here in the light. eyes to see what might be. You have made your way. Let yourself be guided by us. This is our reward. A light. In the dark. A light in the dark. So beautiful. I can see again. Moving. Guiding you through the dark. I can breathe again. Still dark. Listen. There is more than darkness here. There is more and more. The darkness held a question. Are you strong enough? She doesn't know the answer yet. But they will tear it from her mouth. Down there, 
An entrance. There, keep following. Light shining through. A bit of hope. Or just another trick from the hidden folk. Another trick. What do they want with us? Luring you in. Keeping you here. It's nothing. So cold. It's nothing. Don't think about it. Don't listen. Wait. Are they here? Then you will meet your destiny. Can you feel them? Within the depths. The cave is singing to you. It's guiding you. The listen. walls are singing to you. They know, are they? Someone there? Help me. Who are they? Who's there? What are they saying? Please. Don't get too close. Do we have no. You can't. Those creatures are down here with you. They need help. This is all I have. Senua, you can't. You can't do it. She is thinking about it. No, sir. Protect us. We thought so. What does Sandra know? You have to be able to fight. It's 
all you have. She is ignoring us. Senwa, listen to us. Senwa, no. We know what to do. We are protecting you. What are you going to do now? Sacrifices must have meaning. She has given away that which makes her strong. Her protector. Her avenger. The thing she grips tight when darkness overwhelms her. What is a warrior without her sword? What is she now? She must forge a new path, defenseless against the dead ones. The armor has fallen away. Powerless. Don't lose the light. I don't like it down here. The lights are beautiful, but it's a trick. That noise. Come and get out. Did you hear it? Can we turn back? <sighs> Dead ones will come for you. No one will find you down here. <sighs> Can she make it across? I don't know.
see again but it is over there is a shift an invitation they draw her onwards just out of reach but there <sighs> she's close now People know that children who have died uncared for can return as Utburdur, small ghosts clad in fluttering rags. When there are storms, they may cry as they did when they were human, and will look for their mothers until they find them, and never leave them again. found the sword he was seeking, Kar's loom, buried in the grave mound. He went to leave, but before he could reach the rope, something grabbed him from behind, and Grettir realized the mound dweller would not let his treasure go. The two fought ferociously, until Grettir got the advantage and chopped off the revenant's head. But Kar's loom would prove his undoing, fated to be the sword that killed him. Again. again. Who is that? There. The 
open before. What does it mean? The fire changes this world. Yes. Find a way, Senwa.
Thank you. 